Welcome to the Eliza Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover the timeline automation of Eliza's source parameters in a digital audio workstation with Eliza Control plugins. There are two plugins that come installed with Eliza Studio, one for sources and one for groups in VST, AU, and AAX versions. Depending on how you have set up your plugins folders on your personal machine, you may need to move the Eliza source and group control plugins to that location. By default, the plugins for Mac can be found here, and Windows can be found here. We will be using Pro Tools for this video, but the principle remains the same for your workstation of choice. In Pro Tools, click on an insert, multi-channel plugin, sound field, and select your Eliza source control plugin. The plugin window contains a representation of the soundscape found in your Eliza session. The soundscape will change according to your speaker layout. As an example, for 360 degree applications, the soundscape will appear as a full circle. But for a hyper real frontal system, the soundscape will more closely resemble a fan. The green light at the top right of the plugin window indicates that the plugin is connected to an available Eliza controller session. Select the source you would like to control from the drop down list. You will then see the parameters for pan, width, distance, elevation, and aux send. However, all of the parameters are currently unable to be modified because the selected source does not have the control flags for plugin enabled in the Eliza controller. Back in Eliza controller, go to the control tab of the sources page to view the control flag matrix. At the moment, the parameters for source one are being controlled by snapshot, but by changing the control flags to plugin, the parameters have now become available for control back in the workstation, and we now have control. Changes to the plugin are reflected in the soundscape of the Eliza controller. This control is bi-directional. By moving source one on the soundscape, we see this change reflected back in the source control plugin. We can view the status of connected plugins in the sources page, once again indicated by the same green light. By hovering the mouse over the light, we can see additional information such as the machine and the specific audio track in your workstation. An advantage of plugin control is that separate machines can be used to run Eliza controller and the workstation running the plugins, as long as the machines are on the same network. You can adjust machine connection settings in the global tab of the settings page. To record automation in Pro Tools, add the parameters you would like to automate into the automation window. Set the track to the touch automation setting and create movements when the timeline is running. When played back, you will see the source move in both the plugin window and the soundscape in Eliza controller. Because the architecture of the plugin is bi-directional, automation can be recorded by moving the source on the soundscape itself. This gives the ability to have context for all other sources in the mix while automating the spatialization. The Eliza Group Control plugin works in the same way as the Source Control plugin. In this example, we need to create a group and enable its controls in order to use the plugin. Back in Eliza Controller, Let's select a few sources to create a new group called Control Group. To enable plugin control, navigate to the Groups page. As a reminder, you can also use the keyboard shortcuts Command 3 on Mac and Control 3 on Windows. Enable control and set the control flags accordingly. One thing to note, is that all sources in a group controlled by plugins or OSC will have their individual control flags disabled. A source can only be controlled by one instance of a plugin, whether that's individually or part of a group. Back in Pro Tools, once a group is connected, 
the green light indicates communication between the workstation and ELISA controller. Setting up automation applies the same way as the source control plugin. This has been the ELISA Studio Quick Start for plugins.